Welcome to the Tippy Toe Podcast Show. We got a special guest tonight. Who my guest is, my dog? You don't know who I is? Opalaka Goon. Opalaka Goon. Let's go in the bed and what you mean. Okay, I'm then. Yeah. How the drive was coming down here, my dog? Oh, uh, man. It was like a you know, skip and a hop. You know what I'm saying? You know, Broward County, like, you feel me? That shit, like, certain parts like Care City, certain parts like Opalaka. Okay, then. Certain parts like Liberty City and Overtown. Brown Sub and all that. Okay then, yeah, we already know Briscoe. They had some questions though. We had to turn up for you know Tippy Toes been nosy. Yeah, okay. I heard I heard you nosy. Okay then, <laughs> they wanted to know though, dog. Where is Briscoe from? Even though we know, but some people don't know. I'm from Miami. If you want to, you know, if I was at a um, award show, winning a Grammy or something, I say Miami. But being, if I wanted to be specific, I say Opalaka. Okay then, you know what I'm saying. Opalaka, a little small town. We like, we r real small, but we powerful like Jerusalem. You feel me? Okay, then. And they wanted to know, Briscoe, growing up, uh huh. did you play any sports growing up? Yeah, I played basketball. I played football. Played at the Northwest Boys Club. Um, went to Kara City, played for Kara City. Um, played basketball, I mean football for um, HML. Transferred to Kara City and played for Kara City. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So now, before you start doing music, Briscoe, who did you listen? You listen to um, as a kid. I listened to a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of R and B. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like Gerald Levert, Eddie Levert. You know what I'm saying? The greats. I always emulated the greats. I always loved Tupac and Biggie equally. You know what I'm saying? But you know, without who I really used to listen to was Rick Ross when he was back when he was Teflon Don. You know what I'm saying? So that's who the first guy, that's the first nigga ever gave me an opportunity to even start doing this. You know what I'm saying? The first person ever let me get in the booth was Rick Ross. And every interview, I credit him for that. Okay, then. So before we move too fast, now, like you done turned up on me now. Yeah. So, so let us know, at what age did you want to start doing music? My, my mom died at nine. Right, RP. When my mom died at nine, um, that, that, that compelled me to, to get into music. I always wrote poems and you know, relishing on the, on the good times with my mom. So, yeah, that's what made me really start. I always wanted to be a performer. Like I said, I like the Gerald and Eddie Levert, and um, I like the KC and JoJo. Them boys were performers. Mm -hmm. Patty LaBelle, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I used to listen to the greats. I always emulated the greats. That's why I'm great now. Facts. So now, at what age though? You know, you like, you know what, man? I might. Want to get this music? You feel me? Who around the neighborhood? Well, did you have somebody around the neighborhood doing music? That mean, yeah, Rick Ross. So Rick Ross from the neighborhood. Yeah, he from Kara City, Opalock and Kara City, like the neighboring cities. Mm -hmm. So when I got with Ross, you know, he made me want to do it. You know what I'm saying? And it's before Po Boys. Yeah, that's that's when he was signed to Swap House. Po Boy, we've been a gang. We've been a gang from the beginning. But so who you who you met first, Po Boy or, or Ross? Ross is a po' boy. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, so E-Class, yeah, E-Class, okay, yeah. G-12 forever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's that's who, G-12 named Gucci Pucci, G-12 named Rick Ross, E-Class. You know what I'm saying? He named me. You know what I'm saying? Briscoe. Okay, then. So G-12, um, um, he died of brain cancer in 2012. You know what I'm saying? And that's my first cousin. So he was like, he was be he's best friends with E-Class in JIT, Blue House. So, you know. You know that 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 he introduced me to the whole game. You know what I'm saying? When 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 I was 14, I moved with him. I actually moved with him when I was 13. I ain't, I ain't fuck with my stepmom and shit. You know, so I moved with my cousin G12. And the first day he had pans. You know the pans that you cook from Thanksgiving. The big pans mm -hmm. that you put the macaroni in. That shit was full of clean. You know what I'm saying? You could smell the acrylic. Okay, you know it was some clean. You feel me? Yeah. So now, so let us know now you hang with Ross, you know, y'all you, part of the team. So when did y'all see, then when did you see that this music shit could be for real? What did y'all see? What did you see growing up? Um, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I saw that it was profitable and, you know, he had, Rick Ross had signed the Swab House. So when he signed the Swab House, that was just like, that was just like, oh, okay, niggas can get money from this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The copy Rolex has turned into big bezels and, and, and real shit and presidential. So. I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. And when I found out I was good at it, you know, that's when I started saying, okay, I'm going to do this right here. You know what I'm saying? The nigga ain't got to sell no more dope or nothing like that. Nigga ain't got to sell no more hair on or nothing. Nigga can do this. 
the right way, the easy way, you know what I'm saying? Because the nigga was already, you know, intelligent and smart and, and, and lusting for knowledge, you know what I'm saying? I think that's the key to doing music is you got to know some shit. You got to been, uh, been through some shit, you know what I'm saying? I've I been through a lot of shit with, with, with death in my family. My mama gone, my daddy gone, three of my brothers gone, all my grandparents gone, my godparents gone, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So. Shouts out to all the fallen soldiers that molded me to who I am today and instilled the story that I have. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. So now, like, you feel me? Y'all doing y'all thing. So bring us there, like, when Push It to the Limit, I think you in that video right yeah. now. Yeah. Around that time, were you, were you doing music already? Yeah, Every Day I'm Hustling, when he came day. out, mm -hmm. I did the breaks, went for that. Whip it real hard. Whip it, whip it real hard. So that's you, know you what I'm That's me doing the breaks. Mm -hmm. that's, why I, that's why the beat dropped right there, because of me. Okay, mm -hmm. then. But, you know, we aided to all our, all, we aided to our success, you know what I'm saying? And, and we converted our friendship to family. You know what I'm saying? Rick Ross, my big brother. So being around why that, you know, album was getting made, what was going through your mind, and you on the album. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the G. album. I'm, I'm a G. A, I'm the a G. How it yeah. was, let us know. Nah, it was just grinding. It's like at that time, three niggas was on the track. Mm -hmm. It was three verses. You know what I'm saying? But we had Jackie O in the building. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Pitbull was there. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, in the building with y'all when y'all. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about like it, it, a part of Po' Boy, well, a part yeah, of oh, a part okay. of the empire. Mm -hmm. You know, Po' Boy was a university, a place where you groomed yourself in. Okay, then. When you made, you know what I'm saying? You you start feeling yourself in. It created your it created your overall image, you know what I'm saying? And we had E class that that was just, just the biggest boss and Dog was opening up shit and you know what I'm saying? We want we wanted to rap Dog open up the biggest studio in Miami, plush marble floors and all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Gold mics. We was we was lit. We been lit for a long time and we always make jokes about if if we should have documented that shit. Cuz if Instagram was around when we was doing that shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, we would have we, we, we ran in and we would have molded the landscape of what that shit was, what, what it is now. But a lot of people don't know, but, yeah. So while you was doing that, you know, on the album, did it feel like a dream? It was like, damn, it's really going down when all this was going on in the beginning. Nah, you know, you know, you know when prayers go up, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a manifestation of, of, of everything, and, and then the blessings come down. You know what I'm saying? We, uh, it's like I had already knew what time it was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 never, we, we never had a ceiling or we never tried to reach a pinnacle. We always just knew we was going to go up. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And they wanted to know too, Briscoe, like you shouted out in the beginning like Jackie O. It's a video that went around. You was like apologizing to Jackie O. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, Jackie O went through a lot. You know, we went through a lot. But that's my baby I love. I just talked to her. You know what I'm saying? Jackie O like the, the realest. I always say Jackie O is like JT from the City Girls. Mm -hmm. And Carisha is Trina. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If they would have got together, it would have, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's how they got this shit locked. But Jackie O, I love Jackie O. Okay, then. So now take us there, dog. How did you, Wayne Birdman, how y'all got together? Um, Actually, you know, the misfortunes of, of Hurricane Katrina, they needed a home. You know what I'm saying? And they came to Miami. And at that time, I was on I was on one, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and we was at the Temple, one of DJ Khaled's birthday parties, and I told DJ Sam Sneak, hey, when Ross finished, play my shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I kind of like stepped out on faith. What song did you tell him to play that time? Um, It was, I think it was my first bitch on me or something like okay, that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when they heard that, Wayne heard that, he was like, and I could see him. He was dating Trina at the time, and I could see him from my peripheral vision, like vibing. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, "Oh shit, this Wayne vibing." You know okay, what I'm saying? Man. A nigga, a, a a a man of my peer. You know what I'm saying? The same age I, as I am, and man, shit, I'm like, damn. So he went back later on that night to the studio, and Trina was there, and he she um he he was telling Birdman, "This is nigga Briscoe out here mm -hmm. that just told a to, told a top off some shit." Okay, you man. know what I'm saying? So I immediately. Without them even knowing, Trina had to, got her to E class. So when he got her to E class, E class told me, "Oh boy, they they was they was fucking with you at back at the studio." Mm -hmm. So I immediately started saying I was Cash Money. I named Young Money, nah, Young Money from right there. Yeah, I named I named Young Money. I was I was Young Money, Cash Money. I, you know what I'm saying? I just started saying, saying that, and I spoke it into existence. Oh, you know what I'm man. saying? So it was like 
like I said, I stepped out on faith, dog. I knew I knew what time it was, and I knew it when I had to press on, and I knew when the opportunity was knocking. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah, when opportunity be knocking, man, you got to tell opportunity to kick the door down, shoot this shit up. Man, so that you know what I'm saying? Just go hard like that in your mind, because some people, you feel me, scared to take nah, that chance. Like I said, I step out on faith, man. I'm a man of God first. Okay, Great man. father second. You know what I'm saying? British third. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Briscoe. When I want to be. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? So, not nah, so break it down to us, dog. I'm in the hood. How that video was made and how you felt when it was getting made, dog. No, nah, actually, I wasn't even signed to Cash Money yet. You know, like, the work I was doing, all the, all the screaming Cash Money I was doing, mm -hmm. Wayne called me one day. I'm in the hood of Open Locker at my baby mama Vani house. You know what I'm saying? And, and the nigga called the first time. I hung up on him. Mm -hmm. You ain't believe it's Wayne? No. Nah. He called back. He like, what the fuck, my nigga, this letter Wayne. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> come to the studio right now. I hear you doing this. You screaming this cash money shit. Okay. Come to the come to the studio right now. That same night we did I'm in the hood. Mm. Two weeks after that, you know what I'm saying? They had buses on 21 Jump Street. You know what I'm saying? They had buses in Open Locker. We finna shoot the video. You know what I'm saying? God bless the God bless the dead. My dad came up. He was like, man, all this shit ain't for you. British. This shit ain't for you, British. Like daddy, this shit for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? And he 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 always he always admired um, Birdman. He like he always said, boy, I like that boy's style. You know okay, what I'm saying? Yeah. I like how that boy move. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I like how 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 he you know embraces. You know what I'm saying, Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So what was going through your mind though while the video was getting made? Everybody I mean, can't believe him. Pops can't believe all this right here was for man, you. Man, it, it's it was a dream come true because I always wanted to be a hot boy growing up. I used to wear tees, bows, and reeds to school with the bandana around my around my arm. You know okay, what I'm saying? Man. And I always that was just a dream come true. Like I, I am the the evidence and the proof that dreams do come true. Going in, going in though. So let me know how shit changed though. Once that video came out though. Um, man, when the video came out. I gained the respect of the hood, you know what I'm saying? I, I put the hood on my back with every calculated move. You know what I'm saying? Seems getting money fast what the big boys do. So I always wanted to be a I always wanted to just be something that the hood can, the hood was proud of. You know what I'm saying? I put my put my hood on the map cuz like I say, Opalaka small, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Opalaka is motherfucking um 20 something damn near blocks. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and 20 avenues, so it we real small, you know what I'm saying? So I always just be, wanted to be the one. And it, it was, it was it like, like I said, it was a dream come true, and I was nervous, you know what I'm saying? I got that shit out, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, but it was like a local artist that came out with an Opa Locker song. Yeah. And you came on that bitch snapping. Yeah, that was Soldier T. Ah, then why you came on that bitch like the boy paid the M on that thing, though? Yeah, nah, that was Soldier T. I did that absolutely free. Damn, you came on that thing. Yeah, yeah, I, that was Soldier T. Um, It was called Opa Locker. But yeah, like, we always rep, you know, so we always rep the hood. Anything I can do to help any nigga from my city, any nigga from your city. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? Any nigga that say they, they a Florida boy. Any nigga, I help them. You feel what I'm saying? I charge the niggas that be capping on the gram, flashing all the money. Okay, you flashing then. all the money, boy. I want 20 bands, boy. Okay, then. Okay, for, then. for 12. Facts. You feel me? And they wanted to know, too, Briscoe, what's your relationship with Flo Rida at that time? How did you meet Flo Rida? Um, Flo Rida, you know, that's E-Class, brother's artist. He's actually married to um, Freezy's, Freezy's sister. I mean, Fre Freezy's actually married to Flo Rida's sister, Cola. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like I say, this shit a family for real. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We mesh so well. And when Flo Rida came to Poe Boy, man, I, I welcomed them with open arms. Like I welcomed Ghost Rider, you know what I'm saying? With open arms, them boys. And, and I made, I let them be Poe Boy and I let them um, 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 infiltrate on my studio time. It was my pleasure, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, like me and Flo, and Flo took me all around the world, took me places that I never thought I'd be. I done been everywhere twice. Went through four passports, four passports stamped full. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then still reaping the benefits of being on the road. I'm getting, I'm getting ten thousand dollars a night, and I, all I'm doing is chill eating my dog. You know what I'm saying? Going in, yeah. And let us know, like you feel me? Y'all had that classic. Just know that. I think you had him on the remix. I yeah, think. yeah. He was on. Just know that. Um, How that came about? Breaking man, down just being him. in the studio, man, doing anything do, that he can do to help Briscoe. Mm -hmm. Wayne jumping on everything I I ever. You know what I'm saying? I ever asked him to jump on. He was jumping on it. You know what I'm saying? Sending the verse back 15 minutes and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, 
You got to, you know, when God working, dog, you got to let God work. You got to sit your puss ass down somewhere and let God work. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. I let God work. And he, he, he just he just he just amazed me. He was always on time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of that a lot of that stuff, a lot of my success was because of God and by me being a man of God and the servant and my and me surrendering my heart to God. That's how I was getting those opportunities and those looks. You know what I'm saying? Damn right. So they wanna to know too though. Another big one, sliding. Mm -hmm. How you came up with that thing? Man, I was on every, I think I was on Transformers, the pills back there. Mm -hmm. Blue Dolphins and all type of so stuff. We, yeah, it, you I was, you, you know, I was under the influence and niggas started taking sliding in out of context. Like, nigga, we finna slide or doing dumb shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That was just when I, my, when, what when you I was saying by what you meant by sliding. Yeah. You got a thousand dollars in your pocket. You just got to rent a car from Enterprise. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you finna go meet a bitch, mm -hmm. and y'all finna make love. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah, we <laughs> yeah. finna make love, babe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so everybody just took it the other way around. Yeah, niggas just took it the other way around and started killing each other and felt like, you know, they, they I created the term. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling niggas that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, and when you play, when, 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 when they play slide in the club, or if you play it in your car, you feel good. Mm -hmm. That shit make you want to go get some money. You know what I'm saying? The Crown Vic won't start, so I rented me a charger. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I'm riding low key so the crackers don't spot us or okay. stop us. You know what I'm saying? So it, yeah. it was just it was just that elegance that I always wanted to have. I'm big on fashion. You know what I'm saying? I'm big on I'm big on love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And now you gotta talk to us though, like with black shades. What you what, what were we trying to go with black shades? I was trying to cross over with black shades. It seemed like it. That's why yeah. I was asked. I was trying to cross over with that because that was a perfect record for me to cross over with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we was getting played and live and dream and and crave at that time. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? At that time, um, actually before that, before a lot of my success, you know, Teddy Bear. From Brow Broward came Nassau boys brought me down here. Devin, Delroy, you know what I'm saying? Silk, mm -hmm. Silk, you know what I'm saying? Deep side Silk. I owe a lot to Silk, you know what I'm saying? And we, we it's like it's like we we saved each other lives at that time because I was wilding, he was a whole fool, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, we 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 developed a brotherhood that even that, that with all the success, you still was wilding. Yeah, I, I still was wilding because I, I didn't, I didn't, you know, sometimes you got to stop, you know what I'm saying? When you get a big check or something like that, sometimes you just got to stop and thank, you know what I'm saying? And thank God, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, ask them to order your steps. I was wild out there under the influence of all type of drugs. You know what I'm saying? I, I was wilding, so I guess that's what, a, that's what a lot of artists do. You see a lot of artists fuck up and... You know what I'm saying? It, be, it just it just be a test. It be a test from God. Is, is you gonna cuss me? You know what I'm saying? Like in the Book of Job, say, you know, Job never cussed God. Although he was going through, although he was going through a lot, he never cussed God. And I just, you know what I'm saying? One day I woke up. Let me invest some of this money. Let me go buy a house. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I wait for the I wait on the car. You know what I'm saying? Little Briss gonna be born. Okay then. You know what I'm saying? Let me invest in my son. You feel me? Do you feel like having the kids made you switch up a little bit? Yeah, of course. Cause it's like it's, that was my second chance of life, and I ain't want to mess that life up. Facts, you know what I'm saying? And I got British, Junior. I got Britain, and I just had my baby two months ago. Brazil, you know what I'm saying? My first girl, so she finna have Chanel's, and we finna. I'm finna spoil the fuck up out of her. You okay, feel me? Yeah. So let us know though. So you feel me? Like but it's going down. Even once upon a time, mm -hmm. you got so big. Even you, you walk a flock and Briscoe going at it. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? Nah. Um, Actually, it was something transpired. I think like, like Gucci mentioned my on name on the verse. On the verse, and okay, it's just okay, like, okay. I, it's like in that sense, you got to think about. But when you shot though, like he, like Gucci mentioned your name, or, or you yeah, yeah, no, nah, I, I just shot, I shot back because like and I just shot, I, I just fuck with OJ the Juice man. Mm -hmm. I fuck with Walker, anybody that was in that car, because yeah. it's like when you riding in that car and, and you my man's, I'm trying to get my man's. I'm gonna just shoot the car, shoot the doors up. You know what I'm saying? I don't care who in the car. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that was a, that just, he, you know, Walker was just a casualty of war, and that's actually one of my good friends. Okay. Gucci Man, actually one of my good friends. Okay, you know what then. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I go to Atlanta, I hit them boys, and we good. 
No OJ, OJ the Juice Man too. We scrape. All us scrape. So you know y'all all good since throwback. You know the tip of just nosy though. But yeah. just going, you know, I heard, just I heard you know nosy so, Like at that time, you know, since it's throwback, we could talk about like what was going through your mind, do do dog. Nah, I just, I just, I just say, you know, at that time, when a nigga mentioned your name on a record, mm-hmm. like we was going, that was the Biggie and Tupac shit. You say my name on a record, well, I'ma say your name back. Facts, facts, facts. You know what I'm saying? And and and, 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 and niggas being from Atlanta, and I'm being from Miami, I ain't from the man. Fuck you, niggas. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, that's what it was. Like fuck you, niggas. At the end of the day, man, like facts. it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? When I come up there, we gonna still step. When y'all come down here, we gonna talk. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it was. I was like being a fan though. I was watching though. Like, was it was it like? Did you feel any type of way when Gunplay and Walker dropped the song together? No, nah, we had already like oh, oh, soon God. after soon after I started doing my bullshit. We kind of like you know E class and you know Gucci Gucci was Gucci was a, a boss, mm-hmm. still is a boss, and we 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 hashed that shit out. Gangsters when gangsters go through shit, and both sides gangsters, cause it usually be a, a, a the negative. It be the opposite. It be it be some pussies, then it be some it be some real gangsters. You know okay, what I'm saying? Yeah. Then then people die and all that. Nah, it wasn't that. When two gangsters, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hold on, this my this little bro. You know what I'm saying? This little bro now. We ain't, we ain't finna do that, y'all. You know, calm down. When you're in prison, they say it's a shot caller. You know what I'm saying? And you might do some fuck shit to another to another state or another car, mm-hmm. and niggas gonna be like, hey. You gotta go through your shot caller. Nigga just can't come shank you and shit. Okay, yeah. it's, it's a chain of command, and you gotta go through the shot caller and see if shit can be resolved. You right. know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, you know the tip of toes nosy dog. A big hit you drop. Uh huh. Controversy. Controversy was just me, be, me being bitter. Mm-hmm. Let us know what and was actually, going through your mind at that time. No, nah, it's the same. It's it's the same things that was going on in my mind back then. It's the same thing that's going mm-hmm. on in my mind now. Uh. You feel me saying? See this platform you have? You need to empower every nigga that's from your city because you got that platform. You have the same power as a DJ. Mm -hmm. So when I come in the club, don't play my shit because you ain't play. You weren't playing that bitch before I got there. Uh So me and Ghost Rider dropped the album. Everything's a blessing. Right. We dropped it in August. Nigga. Funk Flex played our shit. Tony Touch played our shit. All these niggas from different areas played our shit. But the niggas that's supposed to love a nigga down here in Miami and down here in Broward, a lot of the marks ain't played. ESTG, come to this bitch. Them fuck niggas gonna be following that nigga knocking hoes down. You feel what I'm saying? Instead of embracing your artists. I like him. FCG him, mm-hmm. I love dog. You could tell a dog got some real niggas behind him because how it look, it looks beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It looks fun to be on a road. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like Kodak. Let me get eight bars on this shit and let my niggas just do their dollar. That's what it's about. So how can you how can you think you finna flourish as a DJ if you ain't representing the niggas that's right around the corner from you? Mm. We trapping together. It's, it's basically trapping together. But you got to get the bricks from me. I ain't going to hit you in the head for the high high. But then when you get the bricks, y'all, just let, just let the other Colombians and the Puerto Ricans know you got it from me. Okay, then. You get what I'm saying? So that's why when it's time to pick a DJ and go on the road, nigga, I'm looking at them niggas like, I may kill a, a jit play that shit. Before I let one of you miles get on the road and, and reap any benefit with me. So all of, a lot of DJs in Miami, not all of them, but a lot of them, you niggas got a problem with me. And I got a problem with you. Fuck you niggas. Get y'all shit together. You know what I'm saying? And a nigga ain't gonna tell you. A nigga just gonna be, a nigga just ain't gonna fuck with you. But I'm gonna tell you, you niggas is hoes. You niggas do bitch shit. You know what I'm saying? If you want some, if you want some money to play it, just let me know. If you want some Air Force Ones, nigga, let's go. Meet me at House of Drip. And I'll get you some ones. Damn. But keep it real, though, and, 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 and to, you know what I'm saying, this probably going to be one of the more more informative interviews that you ever going to do because I'm going to keep it 100 and I ain't finna cut no, I ain't finna cut no corners. You get what I'm saying? But niggas got to support they niggas. Even though that might not be your direct nigga, support the cause and support the area. 
You feel what I'm saying? Nigga, you ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't got no ops. If a nigga from Franklin don't got no ops in Melrose and you a DJ, play that shit. Play that shit from Shallow Side and play that shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. From Westwood and all that. Play that shit. Let make these niggas stars. Khaled did that shit for us. Dog from Dog was based out of Louisiana or some shit. Came down here and you know what I'm saying? And gave niggas a platform and was playing niggas shit back to back to back to back. That's no one's real relationship. And look at it. And look at them now. When I came home, a nigga ain't give me shit. Cali gave me twenty thousand dollars. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Freezy made sure I was in position and I had a job to go to. I can go to the studio and record. You know what I'm saying? E class made sure I was safe. He 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 was a he was a credit card for me. Boy, you need some boy. I I he ain't been, you don't got to ask. Boy, you ask for you ask for five hundred. You gonna get your five thousand. Okay then. You know what I'm saying? So, you DJs and you niggas are you niggas are you niggas. I'm the point guard. You niggas the centers. I'm tr I'm trying to throw you an alley hoop, but it's fucked up. And don't call me no legend when you see me and don't call me that. Boy, you a legend, man? Fuck you. You don't play a nigga shit. I want you to be a legend too, nigga. Straight up. I ain't gonna lie, bitch, bro. You had a killer banger. You feel me? I'm like, damn, though. It's like, I don't know if I was on that lit when I was hearing it. It was on that Marvin Gate beat. Oh, you talking about um, yeah. Maze? Like no. A, was it like talking about, I should be bigger? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. That? You, was that all around the nah, same because, time? because, you know, Ace Hood was getting a lot of opportunities that I was supposed to got. Cause he was with Khaled. Khaled mm -hmm. was plugging him in. Couple of records was mine. They gave it to Ace Hood. No. Yeah, yeah. But it was all good though. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ross and them was on the road. Um, everybody was just moving. I just felt kind of alone. And 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 knowing what I do, you know what I'm saying? Cause I got the formula to this shit. I know exactly what I do. I perfected my craft. I use. I know what I'm saying. I got a gift from God that I open every day. So I know what the fuck. I know my talent. I know I should be bigger. Even right now, I know. I, I got some pinnacles. I got some, I got some, I'm the first nigga in Miami with a Grammy. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? So I know I should be bigger. Not financially, but more famous. More of a household name. You know what I'm saying? Because my body's of work. Nigga, you talking about 15 years of shit. You know what I'm saying? I should be bigger. That shit like 10, almost 10, 11 years old. Fuck you mean? That's fine, though. Damn it, Donald Briscoe ain't fucking no. Donald Briscoe, you turning up. You doing shows. How you end up disappearing, dog? Going, well, going well just, just, I just went on my own hiatus. Mm -hmm. Just bitter. Now fuck these niggas, man. Let, let, let them niggas do it on their own. That's what I was on, you know what I'm saying? And that was a that was um that was that was like you know I I didn't have a good taste in my mouth, and it looked at this tasteful, you know what I'm saying? I went to the back I went to the back of the line, you know what I'm saying? And like man, y'all niggas do that shit y'all own. Y'all niggas know it all, you know? But my but 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 my, my big homies, the Rosses and the Pitbulls and the Flows and niggas like trick trick like man, boy, what you doing, boy? Let's go back up. We went right back up. You know what I'm saying? And my records are being played constantly in the club. You know what I'm saying? I just thank God for that. How you feel about that though? How you feel though? You still got you feel music still getting played even for new shit you dropping? They still fucking with Brits. Man, everything's a blessing, man. That's a blessing, boy. You know what I'm saying? God gave us a gift that to record. You know what I'm saying? Niggas can, 20 years from now, they can go to the Tippy Toe Briscoe interview and look at this shit and dissect some of the things I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So, we can listen to Mom again. We can listen to Tupac. We can listen to Dolphin, Vaughn, Dead. You know what I'm saying? This shit impact, man. When, when them slide came on, you can remember when, you, when this ain't a rap song, nigga, This My Life came out. You can remember what exactly what you was let doing. Let me know what was going on. My bath was going too far, dog. Well, let me know where you was at when you dropped that thing. Oh, man. When that uh, thing came out. It just, it, just, it just like. Was Briscoe Pop? 
Man, listen, I was on I was on some shit. You killed that thing, man. Video I was just crazy. on some shit and I just was just illustrating what a nigga was doing. You know what I'm saying? And you could hear the passion and the hunger in my voice. You know what I'm saying? Still to this day. Mm-mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's one of my favorite records right there. That was my favorite favorite record to do. Cause actually the engineer, the 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 the, the computer crash no. and the engineer no. actually lost the shit. So, you know, I went, I spat. Yeah, yeah. So I had to do it over. Mm. So what so the so the version that you hear now was me mad. You know what I'm saying? That's why it came like that. <laughs> it came out like that. Oh yeah. That's what it needed to thank God. Mm-hmm. He lost that bit. But did you but let me but let me know what it was though. Around that time like everything you was dropping was just money though, dog. Bite mm-hmm. the bite, the bite, the bite. Yeah, it's just like now. Nah. Everything I drop money, I just ain't put it out yet. And, and why is that though? Why you ain't putting? Because I, you know, I like I know the formula, and I know what needs to go into these records for they for 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 these records to be timeless. Oh yeah, yeah, they got to be timeless records. They just can't be no records you vibe. Oh yeah, yeah, I feel you. You, you got to feel this shit. This shit gotta, you know, what I'm saying this shit gotta saturate into your motherfucking soul. Music inflicts the soul. This music, you should love this shit forever. You get what I'm saying? Nigga, Tupac, you play Tupac records, nigga, you still, are you still down? Nigga, still feel that same way. Facts. You know what I'm saying? History repeats itself. You feel me? And let us know some award shows you went to, Briscoe. I, mean, I went to every award I know, show. For the people that don't know, we want to know. You feel Man, me? I went to every award show from the Grammys to um the MTV Awards, BET Awards, Ozone Awards. You feel what I'm saying? The Florida Summit Awards, everything. I done went to everything, dog. Everything, you know but you saying? gotta talk that a million music video, dog. You walking next with Lil Wayne? Yeah, that nah. Me and Lil Wayne had had became good good friends. You know what I'm saying? And I, I assisted him on a, on a couple records. I made his album, The Call to Three, mm-hmm. which Amelie was on. And man, we was like I say, dog. He saw he saw something in me too. You know what I'm saying? He saw something authentic. You know what I'm saying? When Briscoe come on, you know it's Briscoe. You know what I'm saying? With Lil Wayne, come on, you know it's Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Now it's sprinkles of Lil Wayne's everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You could hear a little Lil Wayne and Drake. You could hear some Lil Wayne and Thugger. You know what I'm saying? You could hear some Lil Wayne and, and Lil Baby. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you make that, when you make that impact in the game, you wanna be known by that. With Jeezy, come on, nigga, you gon' you gonna know that's Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? And you could hear little sprinkles of that in ESTG. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know what I'm saying. That 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 was a great. It was a great time doing all that shit, man. And, and just being having Wayne embrace me, it was like, you know, a nigga that I looked up to. You know what I'm saying. Let me be his equal. Okay then. Yeah. And talk about on the wall how y'all came linked up and dropped that line. Oh, Lil Wayne was on the way to. Oh, he was on the way to prison. He had to do a couple months in prison. Mm-hmm. So when he was when, when he was just like Briss, do something. Let's come up with something. Let's shoot the video before I go to prison. So that's what we did. On the, on the wall came out. You know what I'm saying? We got Jovi Hendrix to do the beat out of L.A. And you know what I'm saying? When he first brought the beat back, it was too pretty. So I told him to distort the drums. I mean, yeah. to distort the bass. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I come on with that distorted bass. Well, you, know you get what I'm your ear talent for music like that, Briscoe. Just listening to the, them oldie goldies cleaning up on Sunday. You know okay, what I'm saying? Man. Eat cleaning up on Sunday right after you get your ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? You put on some, you put on some soothing music. You know what I'm saying? So I always, I always go back to that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes before I, you know, when you riding in my car, you might hear some old school shit. You might hear, some, you hear, you hear mostly R and B. You know what I'm saying? I be falling in love with R and B artists. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I would love to do a song with Chris Brown. Okay then. Even Anthony Hamilton and, you know, John Legend too. You know. Some of them people that niggas don't play that shit when it comes to the music. Usher. Oh. Yeah. And they wanted to know too, dog. What's the relationship at that time with Scott Stork? It's the viral video. It's like you and them um, just freestyling to a beat. Mm-hmm. And Scott Stork just in the back. You just going off. Yeah. I, I, you know, I always tried to um, impress the Scott Storch because at that time he was... He was he was the beat man. Mm-hmm. If you weren't getting it from Scott Scott Storch, Scott Storch, you was getting it from Timberland. You know what I'm saying? Before the Mustards and you know the 808 Mafias and all them. You know right. what I'm saying? You was getting that shit from Scott Storch by way of Dr. Dre. 
You know what I'm saying? So it was like he was he was affiliated with Dr. Dre, so we just like wanted to I always wanted to impress him and let him know what I do to his beats. You know what I'm saying? Not not to discredit all the other producers, but Scott Storch was on a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? Scott Storch had two million, three million dollar rings on and shit. Five of them. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> he was on some shit and I always just wanted to impress him, man. And like was it like was it always oh, was it pressure? Briscoe be like always oh, around all these stars, you no know, use a star too, but they they were just uh the sky store big man. Nah, it, it never was no pressure because I knew I was a star too. Shit, okay, they just yeah. ain't know. Now they know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I did I I, I rap for Lil Wayne. I mean I rap for um Jay Z. I you rap for Eminem. You rap for Jay Z. Yeah, I rap for well, Jay Z Eminem. Eminem. Yeah, like Eminem see me at the airport one day. And we coming off the airport. I think we were just coming from the A or something. Oh. And, and you know, I just seen a crowd of people around this white boy. So I ain't know what the fuck was going on. We going about, we going to baggage claim to get the bags. And I just hear the nigga like, Briscoe. Eminem. Emma fucking them. Say Briscoe. Yeah, Briscoe. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? Said Tip I was one of his favorite artists. Um, Just seen J. Cole. What song you had at that time when he said that? Man, I just the catalog was out. I mean, you know, all, the shit was out. He was everything. just he was on Briscoe. Everything. He yeah. was just on the name. Yeah, he was on everything. He was on everything. I see um J. Cole. Um we was in Vegas. I was in Vegas with Flo. J. Cole, we on the same elevator. We going on we on the not on elevator, but the escalator. And J. Cole like, that's Briscoe? Nigga, you my favorite artist, nigga. You nigga, I grew up on Briscoe. So, you know, that that shit like that is be a that be that be reassurance. You know what I'm saying? That shit just be extra motivation that I helped the nigga that's one of the biggest artists in in in, in America, worldwide, international artists, J. Cole. Said, you can't be shot though. You know you were lyrical though, bro. Yeah, no, nah, I know what time it is. You know you had them bars. No, nah, I you know, know what time it was. It was gangster, it is. but it was, oh, you could hear them lyrics and Briscoe yeah, lyrics. Like, yeah, God. yeah. I, de I definitely know what time it is and I definitely know what I did. The only know what you freestyle they used to write. Man, I mean when I hear a beat, I already kind of know what I'm going to do to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just put the words to it. I don't do the mumbling, then to come up with the words from my mumbling. No, I just, I, I sit down and I, I write a paragraph. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I write a paragraph on, on how I'm feeling that day and, and what I experienced. You know what I'm saying? I read everything. So when I'm riding, I always read things and read signs. and You know what I'm saying? That, that's what made me a wordsmith. You know what I'm saying? So... I, I just like the study of, of, of hip hop and rap music. I like the study of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I like the when 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 niggas when niggas say I sound like Pac, it's just the passion that Pac had. You know what I'm saying? When Pac get mad, I got the same rasp when I get mad. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah. Oh yeah, you did that. yeah, you used to be mad on the sometime on the track. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that that was my approach. Mm-hmm. And then I start I start finessing shit when I, I I met Wayne and I see him going without without a pen and paper. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. you witness Wayne in the so you been so people that don't know you been in the studio with Wayne. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? yeah. No, just yeah. sending music across. No, nah, no, nah, we was we, we signed we was signed to the same label. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? So I was I was I was on the bus with Wayne. You know what I'm saying? I was on tours with Wayne. You know what I'm saying? I was I was a part of that family that that, that young money cash money family. You know what I'm saying? Okay, then. Yeah. And they wanted to know, God damn, dog. Ah, man. That's going down. Hold on, but before we feel me, they want to know too, though, my dog. Like, uh -huh. one time, you feel when you jumped out, yeah. this is this some Brad County. You like, damn, Zeke. Like that there? Yeah, like Zeke. We like tiptoe with nosy on that, like, damn. Yeah, I heard you was nosy, but that, that's, that's a great <laughs> question because. You know, I knew A Rap. I know him by A Rap. Niggas know him by the Zeke, Twenty Wall, Zeke, and you know. And at that time, you know, me and Zeke was. I used to always come to Zeke. I knew Zeke for fifteen years. And I always came to Zeke, and I always trusted Zeke. And you know, at that time, I was doing some shit I ain't supposed to. You know what I'm saying? So the nigga I knew that was doing shit that he wasn't supposed to. I went to him. You know what I'm saying? With some things that I had, and I asked him, like, hey, help me get this off. And he put the police on me. Damn. He on my case, you know what I'm saying? And I tried to reach out to him, and the day I got out, the day I got out, he moved back to um, Israel. 
You know what I'm saying? He went back to the Middle East, with the Middle East or whatever. He went back to he went back wherever he was from. Jimmy Toe. So, so you know, I immediately got at Coleon. Start saying shit by Coleon. You know what I'm saying? Damn Zeke, damn Coley. You fuck niggas did me um dirty one thousand. You know what I'm saying? Bars. Yeah. So I just I just you know and I since then I apologized to Coleon. But like I said. With the walking and the, the Gucci shit, nigga, y'all was in the same car. You know, you ain't know he did this to me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas ain't know that. Damn, why he, would he do that to me? You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it is what it is, and I love Coley. I repost his shit. You know what I'm saying? When he get it, when his albums drop, I like to get him and hear what he talking about. You know that what boy, I'm shout out to that new, you know, the under, uh, uh, underground king. Out yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. Like shouts out to him and. You know, I love Dirty 1000, Dirty 1000 be doing this thing, like Dirty 1000, cold with that shit. Coleon, cold with that shit. You know what I'm saying? I love them boys, you know? But it's just like, sometimes you can you, you can be at the wrong place at the wrong time or affiliated with the wrong niggas. You know? Tip his toes. I got to accept the drink, though, Briscoe. But, when, you know, when I actually run into Zeke, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to get physical or not, but I just want to, you know, I just want to check in. I just want to check in an apology. You know what I'm saying? For what he did. You feel me? I I, I often ride by Omar's and just go by the corner store and just, because it's boarded up now. I don't know what happened, but I just go by there and be like, damn, you know? I used to like coming up here and going behind the counter and fucking with dog. You know what I'm saying? But that's fucked up. Oh, man. It's going down. Tip of toes, nosy. We about to turn up. Mm -hmm. Briscoe, you on top of the world, though, dog. You doing your thing, you getting shows. Say I'm thousand, ten thousand. I know twenty, twenty five. Twenty thousand see, see, see you that when you left you left us. At that time we couldn't even afford you no more. Yeah, yeah. I still was doing verses and shit for niggas, but I remember yeah. used to, I was it Wednesday you used to look out for people? Or Tuesday? I know you had to, used to look out on people. Yeah, I used to look out every Friday, nigga. I know, you know what I'm saying? Bring, bring the bag and, it, and I, I'm going to show love. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make your dreams come true. You want to go on a song with Briscoe. You know what I'm saying? Send that little, you know? Facts. But Briscoe, dog, you got to take us there, though, dog. Mm -hmm. They in the DM heavy. Take us to the barbershop, Briscoe. Well... My dumb ass... You got to take us there. My dumb ass, you know, like at that time, you know... I didn't know how big I was, you know what I'm saying? So I was I was naive and to a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, it was easy. It was like, shit, just follow him. Mm -hmm. We see him, we got that shit on, we just follow him. And niggas came in the barbershop, you know what I'm saying, face down. But where you was before the barbershop, though? I was at, I was doing a, um, t uh, it was called the um, ink, you know, the ink tattoo book. Mm -hmm. I was doing a, showing my tattoos on the ink book. It wasn't even for me. That 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 photo shoot wasn't for me. That was for Billy Blue. But at that time, E Class wanted everybody to just go to everybody's shit and mm -hmm. support. Support, so, yeah. Yeah, so you gotta understand we in Lil' Haiti it's early. You know what I'm saying? It's like we it's like the hood woke up to us. So niggas was passing by, they see shit on, you know? They see shit on. It's it's like so the it's like vulnerability. The huh? The photo shoot in the hood? The photo shoot in the hood. Oh. Yeah, the photo shoot on six something and second half or something like that. So it's in the belly of the it's in the belly of the motherfucking beast. So I get to the barber shop and mind you, why wouldn't I go to the barber shop before the photo shoot? The photo shoot. I just was stopping by the barber shop mm -hmm. just to get me a little little tape up. So when niggas came in, a lot of people don't know if they look at the video, I never seen nobody. So the so so after that happened, fast forward to the to the to the court incident. Mind you, I had to beat up this 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 white boy named Gio. He was a hacker back then. He used to work for me. So I had beat him, so I had an open case. You know what I'm saying? And they leveraged that case, me going to court for that case. Before you go to court, Briscoe, what about when the news came talk to you? Was that right after the barbershop? That shit was after like, you know, Cause you see the news coverage, the news coverage, that was like after it actually happened. Like after. not not right after. Yeah. That was some time after it happened. So he's already coming. 
Yeah, I already. I had them bought all new type of new shit. If you look at it, I had no, no, talking about when you did the little interview, like, like yeah, Briscoe. So yeah, like I, like the jury shit wasn't nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I had got right the next day after that. Mm -hmm. I went and got some more shit, better shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying. So what happened was, let's fast forward to the court shit. Yeah, while a lot of a lot of say he told or he a snitch or this and that and that. First of all, if me and you riding around yeah. in the car, and we got bricks in the car, we get stopped by um, BSO, right? And I tell on you, I'm a snitch. Being subpoenaed to go to court, nigga, when the livelihood, my livelihood, I wasn't street. You know what I'm saying? I've been rich a long time. My mom died of unstable angia. I got a wrongful death suit for $500,000 when I was 18 years old. So it never was about the money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My And, and the, being in the streets, that shit was past me. I was fucking with Lil Wayne. I'm big. Yeah. I'm huge. So the jury they took, it wasn't about that. It's that I had a case that was leveraged against that case for, for me to to me to point out the guys that robbed me. To go money. I don't know who them niggas was. That's on my dead family. I ain't know them niggas. I never saw the niggas. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They in the court. They show. They say, does this guy look like that guy? So on the news, you see me saying, oh, he looks like, that, that looks like the guy. That looks like the nigga that's standing, it, it damn sure look like him. They got a big ass picture of him. So, and he know that. And actually, I just talked to this nigga on my mama. I talked to this nigga today. Mm -hmm. The nigga that's supposed to be, the nigga that's doing the time. For people say, I told on him. But guess what? I talked to the dog today. And I say, dog, what's up? He say, Briscoe, my nigga, I, I know you tried to free me, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Dog, I know you ain't telling me, dog. I was right there, nigga. I, you ain't telling me. I say, dog, why you ain't put that shit out in the streets? A real nigga would have been like, man, what y'all talking about? Y'all tripping. Put, hey, record me. Go get another iPhone and point it to the phone. Mm -hmm. And say, Hey, boy, Briscoe, Briscoe ain't do that to me. Y'all tripping. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of niggas, pussies fatter than the hoes. And I let that shit go. I don't really, I don't really, you know, you know, when you know when you did some shit, when you done wronged somebody, you know what I'm saying? And you know, you live with that shit. But that shit never, that shit never affected me or affected how I move around and shit. I be by myself. Mm -hmm. Ask any stripper. I be at the strip club one o'clock. I be helping the um the people at the strip club take the chairs off the off the bar. Mm -hmm. I be at the strip club every day okay, by nigga. myself. These niggas always saying, "Boy, you don't need to be by yourself." You don't, you know what I'm saying? They know where I'm at though. I'm at the strip club. I'm trying to see I'm, my my whole thing today. I want to make I want to bring some joy into my day. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make love. You know what I'm saying? So, what, what, what? People have a misconception. I let them have a misconception. Cause like I, like I say, niggas pussies are fatter than hoes pussy, boy. Let them niggas do what they do. I see everything. I see the rat emojis to the. Oh, I see. I, 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 I fuck with a hoe and a hoe will send me a screenshot of her DM. Don't post that nigga. He told. How old he is, babe? Oh, he 22. He 20. You was eight years old when I got robbed. This is 13 years ago. Mm -hmm. You feel me? This is 13 years ago. But, but you know, what you would have did. Oh, yeah, okay. Niggas robbed you. You subpoenaed to go to court, right? Just say if you did see the niggas. Oh, nah, that, damn. I'm going to kill this nigga when I get out. Now, your stupid ass doing the rest of your life in prison. So, it's like, you know, sometimes the real niggas know. I just got out of I got out, I got out of the federal penitentiary, fool. I wouldn't have made it out the federal penitentiary because all that paperwork be bought. That paperwork be sitting on the nigga bed. When you go into a nigga room, you put your paperwork on his bed. You let him know you Gucci. I wouldn't have made it out of the federal system. I still got an ankle monitor on right now. You feel me? Right now, gold money. Yo, this yo, shit yo. for real. Mm -hmm. This ain't no joke. I got punished for what I did. So I talked to the nigga today, and he actually broke it down like, 
And I, I know, I mean, I actually broke it down to him like, hey, put that shit on the streets and let these niggas know. You know what I'm saying? But it took one of my homies that got locked up that's in the, that's in the Dade County Jail right now in the county. He, like, stepped down on a nigga like, hey, you know, that was my dog. Like, mm -hmm. what, what, what's up with that? He like, man, Briscoe ain't tell on me, man. He's like, okay, I'm going to call Briscoe. <laughs> you got to tell, you got to talk to, you got to okay, talk man. to, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and on the contrary, it's, it, it's lies was lost. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't know. Niggas can talk about me all they want, but he the only one living. You think I wanted that to happen? Boy, y'all niggas, niggas doing robberies every day. Boy, y'all get that shit, boy. Go sell it. Go do what you got to do, boy. But lives was lost. Fuck his years. It's niggas that don't got no more years. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sensitive to that. You know what I'm saying? Lives was lost. Man, you niggas be talking all this shit. When you talk that shit, show your hoe the behavior. Show your hoe your behavior, how you been acting. You feel what I'm saying? Show your hoe you took that time out. This bitch been calling you for, for $100 to get her hair done all day. But you on Briscoe page under his comments, putting emojis and all that. Show her your behavior. And she going to go back to my shit, scroll down and see how saucy I am. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? So, we as niggas, we as real niggas and all that. I, I, I made a post on my Instagram saying, ain't no such thing as street nigga. Yeah, we seen that one now. Ain't no such thing as no street nigga. And let us know, let us know why you fell you, you Because it's like, you trying to get gratification from another man, first of all. If you're not active in the streets, I, the realest niggas be the most humble niggas. A nigga ain't got to tell you he got money. You can smell it. A nigga ain't got to tell you he, 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 he stamping shit. He don't want to go to jail. These street niggas, I'm a street nigga. Da, da, da. I hate when a bitch talking about, you know, I was dealing with my baby daddy and he a street nigga. What? It's a such thing as being a real nigga from the streets. That's what I am. I'm a real nigga from the streets that grew up in a habitat and an environment that was unsafe. I was a rose that grew out of the concrete. Happy I made it. You know what I'm saying? For 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 when I was when I was 17, I was first seeing my death. Like damn. You know what I'm saying? When niggas stormed into the barber shop, ask that nigga, ask Blake, the nigga who locked up, what I was doing. I was repenting, Lord, forgive me for all my damn that talking in tongues. Forgive me for all my sins. Take care of my sons, Lord God. Take care of my unborn. That's what the fuck I was on. So, you know the low shit. When you so high, that shit is so irrelevant to my whole character and 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 in and, and the game in, in in the game. You know what I'm saying? So like I say, I see everything. You know when niggas do certain shit, I screenshot it. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep it in my memory. You know what I'm saying? And God bless me to, to talk to the nigga Blake today. You know what I'm saying? So them same niggas I got screenshots. Uh, and the same niggas that y'all niggas stay the fuck from around me. Don't try to adapt me. Don't try to change, trade none of that, 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 that fuck boy energy. You niggas go both ways. You niggas got a lot of shit hitting. And you niggas fucked up. For even getting in another nigga business. Because you got to ask yourself, dog. Did I tell on you? Are you actively in the streets doing some real shit? You know what I'm saying? Or do you just, are you, or, 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 or ask yourself this, boy, you love that nigga Briscoe music. Stay out of British business, fool. This British business. This ain't Briscoe business. This British shit. Stay out of his shit. And that shit answer the niggas' questions. Dog out, dog in court, back in court right now. If I was the point dog got, how the fuck he coming back to give time back? Man, you, you, you niggas say y'all street niggas and all that. Know the streets. Know them four walls when your ass get locked up. Know how to handle yourself. 
You know what I'm saying? You niggas go to these penitentiaries and go to these camps and these pounds and get knocked out by a nigga from Georgia because your set ain't right. You too worried about another nigga. You don't know how to fight. Mm. I came out that bitch unscathed. You feel me? Okay, then. Better than I ever been. More calm than I ever been. More grateful of life than I ever been. Everything's a blessing. Word the ghost writer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's go. What you mean? Man, what else you want to let them know, Brisco? Man, just say sorry when you see me if you did me dirty. You know what I'm saying? Everything's a blessing. The album out right now. One more time. What's the name of the album? Everything's a blessing featuring Ghost Rider. Okay. I mean, Brisco and Ghost Rider. Not featuring, but Brisco and Ghost Rider. Everything's a blessing. Produ any, any track produced by who on there? Man, we got we got some. We got some, some real niggas, man. Let them know, you know. Nigga Tim Gold, Tim know. um, Forty produced a lot of shit from Rebellion Records. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, Ghost Rider got Rebellion Records. I got Black Billionaire Society. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? If you a nigga that's trying to get some money, you a part of Black Billionaire Society. Gold Money Glee, you a part of Black Billionaire Society trying to get some real money. I hope, I hope he brought me some cups that you left. Me. Nah, I, I got you. Okay, then. I got okay. you. This is my double cup to keep my, you know, to okay, keep then. to keep my ice hugged. Okay, then. But like, like I say, man. I got shit going on. The music gonna still be the same. And you niggas might hate, hate me, but you love my music. I'm cool with that. Download that shit. The British album coming out, top of the year. You know what I'm saying? Lil Briss for the, <laughs> Lil Briss killing the football field. You know what I'm saying? Britain killing the basketball court. You know what I'm saying? Brazil finna be a, a runway model somewhere. Okay. Then. Singing like Summer Walker or something. Okay then. You feel? <laughs> And for the people that want to follow you too, Briscoe, how can they follow Brisco you? Briscoe lock on everything. On everything. I don't, you know, I got, got out of the prison, so Facebook had just like, Facebook had went to another level. I don't know how to work that shit. You know what I'm saying? When I seen one of my uncles, one of my crackhead uncles on Facebook, I just like said, I'm never going to get on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but like, like, thank you for this platform. This is my first time ever talking about the robbery and uh and the snitch and tail allegations. This is my first time, and I, I, it felt good when you call me and say, "Boy, what can't what, what, what you want to wait? What we can't we, we can't talk about?" I'm like, "Boy, listen, I'm from Open Locker Projects. Boy, I'm okay from the then. Bricks. Okay call me two oh six. Boy, we can talk about anything, boy. Okay then. We can talk about anything. Like I say, one thing about Broward County. Broward County been behind me like a fairy tale. Bars. You feel bars, me? I'm bars, <laughs> yeah, bro, bars right there. Broward County been behind me like a fairy tale. Man, shouts out to Teddy Bear Devin. Um, shouts out to Nava. You know what I'm saying? Nava was the first nigga that pulled me, like, pulled me to the side. Hey, what's going on with the Coley shit? I just want to talk to him, Nava. You feel me? And, and, and I was locked up with, I was locked up with Kodak. You know what I'm saying? I fell in love with Dog. You know what I'm saying? Y'all locked up together? Yeah, we was, we, we was in, um, in the building, in the federal building. Mm -hmm. Right before he went and did his stint. You know what I'm saying? You know, I knew Dog was special. And, the way dog was moving, I was locked up with him. You feel what I'm saying? A couple of real niggas just got out of prison. You know what I'm saying? A couple of niggas on their way out. You know what I'm saying? And you know, like I got more love than I got more love than I show, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I like I like what's going on in Broward County. I like what's going on in the whole Florida. Mm -hmm. Niggas is really, really, really getting their shit together and doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? I pray for Young and Ace. I pray for Fulio that they could, you know what I'm saying? Get man, get some money together, boy. Y'all, mm -hmm. nigga, you Rick Ross, you you trick daddy, boy. Bring that shit together and get some money for your city. Some real money and some real give backs and people can be more safe and it won't be no, it, it'll be some sense to the senseless, you know what I'm saying? Rather than the senseless shit that going on. And for all the young niggas out there trying to rap, you know what I'm saying? You niggas just... Man, listen, ask God to man to, to order your steps and show you the way, man. Give you some words to say, man. Read something. Take care of your kids. That's a real nigga. Uh, if, you, if you a nigga that say you a street nigga and all that, all right, if you a street nigga, why you ain't move your mama out the house? Oh, bars. Or why you don't have a, a lawn service cut your auntie yard? Bars. You looking bad out here. All that EDD money, all the other money you, had, you got, you fuck niggas mama still stay at the same place. You niggas mama still catching the bus. You should be shamed of yourself. But you worrying about Briscoe? Mm. Boy, go get some weed whackers and get your mama shit together and get a blow and blow that shit out of her yard. Briscoe, open church. Life.
Frisco Block is doing up there. Appreciate you coming. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I believe that. Thank you. Tip and Toe Podcast. Y'all know what it is. Legendary shit just went down. Y'all know what it is. What you mean? Okay, then. Glee Z. Damn it, boy. <laughs>